Yeah, no, dude. Dude. No, I saw all the leaked suits. Looks legit. No Raimi suit. Well, it's time to throw some death threats around. Do you see the problem here? Do, do you see the problem? Look. It's Marvel's Spider-Man, and it's including the suit from Homecoming and Infinity War. Why would Marvel Studios and Sony want to remind you of the previous franchises? That's not in their best interest. Maybe they'll do it as DLC, but right upon release, they have no need to do this. And trust me, you guys know this. Spider-Man 2 is a movie that literally helped me through some of the hardest times in my life. I would love to see the Raimi suit in the game. Would absolutely love it. But, logistically, with reasons of finances and what they want to push and all that, I can understand why they didn't put it in there. And threatening people over it just, really? Like, that's, that's the hill you choose to die on? Like, you want to be the guy that's threatening developers and other people over the fact that a costume isn't in the game? Is, is that really, like, the battle you want to fight? Like, it's one suit. Hell, the, the default costume, the original, you know, the classic suit, it's pretty much the closest you're going to get to it. So what? It doesn't have silver raised webbing or the, you know, more triangular eyes. So, you know, in the long run, who really cares? We're probably going to get it as DLC, but the way people are handling this situation over one costume, one costume is just kind of cringy and pathetic. And honestly, how are you guys going to handle it if the game gets like an 8 out of 10 at some outlet? Which is possible. It is possible. Oh, guys, come on. It's a suit. Relax. We're like days away from the final release. Let's be hyped.